hundred fucking thousand in these bomb ain't jeans. I'm going up with shit sweet like a lifting tea. I want a real bad bitch on the side of me. I'ma go get rich with my twin, that's my sign me. We gon' go down in this bitch, yeah. Go down in this bitch. I'm on my 5500 shit, my 5500 shit. I just had to jump the fence, cause I'm rolling with my team, they wouldn't let us in. Gotta get the whip of curtains and a black team. I wanna bust out all the mall for my other wrist. I'm self made. Yo, what's good, everybody? Welcome back to the Spinner Podcast. This is going to be episode number, I think, 44. I got Lee Paris here. And before we get into that, I got a few things I got to say. Check out my last podcast I released on the day of this recording with King Red. Like, share, comment, subscribe. Hit me up on Instagram, S-K-B-E-N-I-T-G. Uh, follow my uh, our secondary Instagram cha- uh, tra- tra- channel, Instagram page, Cobra Collective. That's got a bunch of pictures, and it's got uh, podcast clips, and it's got music features and shit like that. I'm gonna be starting back up my second channel with the with the tracks, spinner tracks, and fuck American Airlines and to introduce my guest. I got Lee Paris here. He's coming off his uh, 5500 shit song, um, and then the Make No Sense remix you just mm-hmm, put out, yeah. and then he got he's got the 5500 album that was mm-hmm. earlier this year, and then the No Sense remix video. Your visuals came out yeah. that the yesterday, right? Yeah. Okay. How you doing, my guy? How you feeling? <sighs> I'm I'm stressing over the weather, but I'm I'm doing man, good, man. The weather sucks, but you know yeah. I'm good. Mm-hmm. I'm just having fun with this shit. So first of all, when I look at you, you got a cartilage piercing. Yeah. Do you only have a cartilage piercing? Not not here. Just, Nothing there. Just up here. Oh shit. You know? Okay. Gotta come different. Just. Okay. So wait, why did? Okay. So yeah. So why why first of all why not these? Everybody got them. Mm-hmm. I don't know. You just weren't feeling them. Will you ever get it? I guess I haven't for so long. It doesn't make sense. Mm-hmm. Kinda just built my shit up where like I just had you just had the one. You know, and, I don't and know. how bad was your ex- like? When did you get nah, this? I got it once and then it closed and I got it again. I went and got it again. Oh god, did it hurt every nah. time? No. One two three. It's like a little. It's one. One two three. Okay, gotcha. God, you don't gotta really sit through a piercing. It's like mm-hmm. if you want it, it ain't gonna be too. I'm mm-hmm. pretty good with pain. I feel like really. But you have tats too. I only mm-hmm. got two right now. You got two, but I've handled them. You and know, pretty well. I got. Uh, Let's see what we got here. Oh is, shit! Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is this uh, country. My, my, where I'm from. My mother's from here, Belize. Belize. Okay. Um, and I got my name, Lee Paris, written under it. Wow. And I got okay. like all the uh, countries, like the regions in Belize. Okay. Got its own color. It's like the original one. I went back to like on Google and like found the original. Uh-huh. This is the color. So I got to get them reshaded, mm. but. Yeah, that's sick. Yeah, I got it in Belize too. Yeah. In Belize, yeah, in Belize. That's the now that country is it's it's in Central America, right? It's like yeah, it's, it's in Central bo- America. Is it below Mexico or above Mexico? There's a right below Mexico, below Mexico, but like above like El Salvador and all yeah. that, right? Guatemala. Okay, and shit. okay, and then what's and they're the, like the, the only one? like country in Central America that my like mandatory language is English. It's crazy. Yeah, they're yeah. not really Spanish. Hey. They're like black and everything. Mm-hmm. And then what about the um? What about the other one? The other one is fifty five hundred. Fifty five hundred. Okay. My first one. Okay, gotcha. I was like, what else would I go get? <laughs> you know, fifty five hundred. But yeah. I got like, I got a whole bunch of ideas and mm-hmm. shit. I've just been waiting. Mm-hmm. Uh, I'm gonna, go, I'm gonna go back, back to Belize in January. Okay. Everything over there is half price, bro. Really? To us. Okay, right. Because you the know? currency exchange. The currency exchange. So uh-huh. like, you go there and get like a whole bunch of tattoos for half the price you do. And I got a really good guy out there. So. Okay, gotcha. January, I'll come back. When I come back, I'll be more inked up. Right. I got some ideas. I'm gonna uh-huh. cut. How many times you been out there? Um, once. Once. Okay. Only once. But so you're ready? Is you are you going as a family? Or are you doing like with your boys? I always go with my family. Okay, Cause that's where we're from. Mm-hmm. My boys will come. Um, I want him to come. <laughs> I'm trying to get him. Yo, where is the camera? We got the passport, last time. bro. Yeah. I'm trying to go though for real. You really? I gotta get my passport renewed. You gotta get it renewed. Okay. Yeah. Gotcha. That shit expired. I was supposed to go somewhere this year, and I was like, "Fuck, how much shit expired?" But it's... my family had got it for me like young, so like it's done. Yeah. No. You know. Mine. When did you get it? Because like when you get it from, I think it's ten years. It's a ten years, like but I nine think then. Nine. Okay. Nine years old. Because I think like if you, but if you're like four years old and you get a passport, you gotta get. Re- if you are like twelve. Yeah, that shit don't even count no more. because yeah, you're too count. young. Too young. Right. You look too different. Anyway, so going to your uh, to your upbringing, man. So you're from Lawrence, but you when did you move to Baldwin? Early. Early. I went to like Lawrence. Like my I was, only reason I say I'm from there is because my family's from there. I got family down there. Like mm-hmm. that's you know my grandma still lives in Inwood right now. Mm-hmm. So, but I came over here early. But I went to like first second grade out in Baldwin. Okay, gotcha. Yeah, I Shit. Grew up there yeah. So how is Baldwin to the? Because I think Eric's the only guy from Baldwin that I've had. Did you here. know? I I think I may have, I may have had one more mm-hmm. from Baldwin, but okay. but mostly I go like 
in the yeah, 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 Freeport yeah. is like the most popular. Okay, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. So how is Baldwin? Like, how is um, the town feel? How is it different from the other ones? I mean, it's a small town. It's mm-hmm. like, it's cool. It, it's it's cool. Um, what I feel about it is like, growing up, when I was growing up, mm-hmm. I felt like nobody really branched out their mind enough because mm-hmm. we was in such a small town and it was used to seeing one thing. But now that, like, I got, like you said, Eric and yeah. shit like that, there's a lot of young niggas, like, from Baldwin, like, all getting into music now yeah. and mm-hmm. doing a whole lot of shit. Just, and we always been talented. Like, mm-hmm. you know, Baldwin, like, we've been winning the championships mm-hmm. in basketball. Like, we always did shit. So, like, shout out to the niggas coming from Baldwin mm-hmm. and doing something. I mm-hmm. fuck with that. Right, right. So, how was, like, going to high school there and shit? Because you were, you were, okay, so you were a performer. Yeah. Okay. When did you start performing? Was this, bro, like, when I've you been, started bro, rapping or Like, that? when I started rapping, I started performing. And like I, okay. my big cousin, he like had a vision, and we started mm-hmm. like we went strong with the shit. As soon as I started, mm-hmm. we went strong with the shit because it's just growing up till then. I just mm-hmm. always was entertaining. Like, mm-hmm. I would entertain people. I would stop, home, stop, watch me dance. You yeah. know what I'm saying? I just oh, didn't okay. try music yet. Got that it. was the only difference. Like that's yeah. why I started so early. I just uh-huh. didn't try music yet. Yeah. So once I did it, once I made my first song, we mm-hmm. shot the video. Mm-hmm. You know. Mm-hmm. Fucking went crazy with it. Yeah. So oh, and so kept it pushing. Before that, were you doing like, were you on stage like acting or dancing? Or yeah, doing? I have shit like where well, I, I went on stage before. I did like they had like an American Idol in the mall. I was mad fucking young, bro. Okay. And I performed like someone else's song. One. Yeah. And I wanted to. I flew my family. Like my family, we came. We went to Disney World with the bread. I was like, I want to go to Disney World. Like young as hell, bro. Like not even really knowing, just being yeah. myself. Right. Like I didn't really know too much, but then it was like. Getting older, getting older. Ten years old, I'm like performing at like a culture thing for like somebody, like a somebody from Belize had threw something. Mm-hmm. So I went there, like had Lee Paris written on my shirt with like a Belize flag on the back, and mm-hmm. I like performed Trey songs and had a routine to it. And yeah. then like I was doing dance school and a whole bunch of shit. But then like I would go to like I said, I would go to basketball games. Yeah. And perform at halftime at my brother's mm-hmm. games. Like mm-hmm. this is just young. This is the shit I can remember off the top of my head. Just having yeah. fun. Uh-huh. We used to. We're from New York, so we got light. Like we still. And just get light. Oh, okay. I, I know I was watching my older brother and shit, so yeah. I just was dancing like a motherfucking machine. Damn. I don't even dance that much anymore. No. Anymore. So you're not gonna be like the next Chris Brown? Or you're gonna be? A, a, I could be if I wanted to. If I got back into mm-hmm. it, I was yeah. tap dancing, African like. Really? Yeah, I did. I, I did it all, bro. Wow. Jazz, like mm-hmm. you know. Gotcha. So we. So have you ever? You never done in the music video or anything like that? What got you into dance then? Just that was the first thing my family saw me doing because I was just mm-hmm. so young, but I was entertaining. Like I said, mm-hmm. I started off dancing. I was watching Chris Brown. Mm-hmm. I was watching Chris Brown. A lot of Chris Brown. Yeah, he's a man. Oh, and uh, shout out to him. He's a. I didn't even know he's the same a DMV birthday. guy. Oh, you got the same birthday as Chris Brown. Mm-hmm. Okay, I don't got nobody cool that I share my birthday with. <laughs> Do you share your birthday with anybody cool? I share my birthday with Megan my stepdad. Good. Megan Good. Oh, that's, that's a good yeah. one. Yeah, that's a good one. Eighth. Megan Good. There's some people. My cousin people shared the same though. birthday as me. Uh huh. I know some people with May fifth birthday. Shout out to all the fifty five hundreds. Okay. What 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 are you? I got two birthdays. Two birthdays? Yeah. Oh, you got the two. No, Just my, like my you. second birthday fifty five hundred. Oh. <laughs> okay. 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 Gotcha. Yes, sir. So you're a spring baby like me, man. Yeah, bro. Yeah. With a, with a, with I love the spring man. because it's the best weather. I know. It's not weather. too hot. It's not too cold. You mm-hmm. can just throw on jeans and a t-shirt. Jeans and a long sleeve. Mm-hmm. You got allergy problems? Hoodie and shorts. Nah, I just like to be comfortable. Okay. I like the, what we got allergy. outside right now, like uh-huh. it's, it's too cold. Nice. Too cold. Mm-hmm. That's bundled up weather. Yeah, for sure. Did you Have you gone south? Yeah. You, you like to go to like... You've been I just got LA back from Florida. Atlanta. Okay. I just got back from Atlanta a couple yeah. days ago. Uh-huh. And how was that? Today. Always fun. Yeah. I moved down there early this year with my mother, mm-hmm. so I moved back to New York, like, maybe March, really? but okay. when I go out there, it's, like, home, uh-huh. so it's, like... Really? So how many times you... How many so how many times you think you've been out? Because it's been, like, everyone's taking retreats out there. Mm-hmm. Everyone's coming from here. Everybody's going, Everybody going there now. Everybody's from here, there. yeah, yeah, It's, like, a second New York right now. Literally. Bro. Literally, it's, like, you yeah. know, but I was going out there early because my sister was going to Clark. She's three years older than me. The college. Yeah, okay, Clark yeah. Atlanta. So mm-hmm. when I was in 10th grade when she mm-hmm. had went on to college. Mm-hmm. And her first year staying there, I would like, you know, my spring break, my Christmas break, I'm going down to the A. I'm sneaking in her dorm, staying in there, mingling with everybody who was there. And then, like, I started performing there. Okay. Like, I okay. always... Was just shut, having, I made like my name out there mad yeah. young. I used to call the air, like, airline uh-huh. and cancel my flight to the next day because I'm like, oh, shit, there's a show tomorrow or something. Uh-huh. Like... I gotta go. There's something going on tomorrow. Yeah, I was like, I gotta go. I was missing school like shit. 
Yeah. And I used to stay out there, bro. Uh-huh. So I, that's how I started building my name out there early, like 10th grade, 11th grade, 12th grade. Yeah. So it was only like, mm-hmm. it was only right that when I graduated, I was like, yo, we should, me and my mom went to down, we could re- relocate down in Atlanta and just mm-hmm. work. Right. You know? How is the culture? I mean, because it, it seems like everyone, there's always studio sessions going on down there. Like, it's always like something's happening. Like, there's always that's something to bounce to. That's what it was for me. I recorded a, like a shit. Yeah. Like, like recorded like crazy. I, I got into like, just that mode. Like, that shit gets me going, bro. Uh-huh. You know, just being in that mode, I feel like a super saiyan in the studio. Like, I'm just raging. Like, I just go to back to back to back. Just do song, song, song. Just don't leave. When you got the power to not leave the studio and you yeah. got an on go engineer, that mm-hmm. shit is like, that shit is better than money to me. Yeah, right, right. right. So, wait, how is a Lee Paris studio session? How is, what's, what, what goes down? Is it, is typically, it, bro? There? It's some fire ass nigga who you would never look at in the street walking by you, mm-hmm. producing my music that you would never know that he's mm-hmm. tough as hell, mm-hmm. sitting there maybe some glasses on making mm-hmm. some fire beats and then it's just it's just me maybe I'm gonna have a couple friends in there mm-hmm. in time you know, got my girl in there or whatever but mm-hmm. got some little gas in there. You know, and I don't have too much. I just need some gas and some water. Mm-hmm. You know, whatever I'm drinking at the time. Yeah, some tea, and bro, that's it. Tea is it's tea, tea and water. That's the, and the rap just, and then the booth. Then the, uh, the vibe is off the music. You make the vibe off the music. My right, homies yeah. come and they'll smoke and all that other shit in mm-hmm. there. But that's all you need in a session is the engineer and myself. That's true. No, I or I the producer and myself. Way. Literally, because you're not playing up, you're making your own music. So like whatever your your music is, that's what's getting played. That's that is setting the tone. You could. That's why you had the studio, studio is sessions. what you want it to be. That's why it's my okay. favorite thing to do. Like mm-hmm. you want to go party, go make a song to party to in, in the studio, mm-hmm. and then call niggas like yo, I'm in the studio, pop out, pop out, pop out. Niggas yeah. don't come if you get a good reaction from them uh-huh. off that song, right. or you feed off their energy and make the song when they get there, like. Mm-hmm. You know, you gonna you gonna make up, you gonna make some shit. Yeah. So like, which, <coughs> which, which songs, which studio sessions that you have attached to songs are like memorable for you? Um, catch up was fun. Catch up. Catch up was fun as hell. We did that yeah. shit in like five minutes. I didn't even want to record. Mm-hmm. I was just in there chilling. Mm-hmm. I had a girl on my lap. <laughs> you know, I don't know what I was drinking, but I was a little drunk. Mm-hmm. I was a little drunk, mm-hmm. and then they, I was just like, the studio was about to be done, the studio session was about to be over, but then I was like, yo, they was like, yo, play some beats, Lee, play some beats. I was like, mm-hmm. all right, cool. I go into my beats, I go all the way to the bottom, like an old bass beat. Mm-hmm. I play it, I'm like, yo, this shit is crazy, like, it was really good, bro, mm-hmm. and I had skipped over the beat before. Yeah. Come to find out, I just produced, I mean, I just rapped on it, like, mm-hmm. I didn't even worry about who produced it. Come to find out, my homie, I went to elementary, middle school, high school with... He he produced that one. Oh, okay. So this, he produced it that just one. Just came around full circle. Yeah, and that was actually the first song, like mm-hmm. one of the first songs we did together that got recognition. Like I fucked mm-hmm. with him. Produced by Che. Che. Okay. From Baldwin. Okay. Oh, from, from Baldwin. Ba- that's what I'm saying. Wow. Elementary, middle school, high school. Yeah. Went all with this kid. Like uh-huh. by, in high school, he was making beats, missing school, like shit, making beats. Uh huh. So like I just used to get packs from him, but that was the main. Like that was the thing that one. I don't want to say it's the first song we did because mm-hmm. it's not. But like that was when we was like nah. That's remembering. Like, lot, remember, yeah, yeah, remembering. Yeah. Like mm-hmm. so that session was so fire, bro. Mm-hmm. I went in there, I did this track in like ten minutes, bro. And I had my two homies in there, and they hopped on the features. I dropped mm-hmm. the next day. That shit is a good song. Yeah, no, I, and I was looking at your your fifty five hundred uh, album. I was listening to that in the car today. I was actually, you know, shout out to you because you know what came on? Check engine light came on yeah. and I was like shit so I was yeah, like in this bad mood yeah, or whatever and then I put your music on I'm like it's gonna be yeah, okay check came it's off. it's gonna be okay it came off like maybe 30 minutes later it went off hey. cause it was a gas cap and then it was like you know what it's okay it's okay because Lee Paris let's songs, come through the night we're doing a podcast yes exactly it's good it's good and so I like the get a check thank you that's that's the song that I like a little bit darker but I, I like that. That was a goal for that one. Just wanted to mm-hmm. make, like, you know, when the world dance came out, I just wanted to make something that I could do the world too. Okay. What was when, the, when was the world came? That was like two, three years ago, was it? I feel like, I don't know, I made a song I don't last think it was year. That long. Nah, maybe like last year, yeah. right? Last Whoa. summer, really. I made a song mm-hmm. like last year, like September, October. Okay, gotcha. You know? Yeah. And then Picasso is a good one too, man. Picasso lit. Yeah. yeah. Do you, you like, you clearly like, you like fashion or whatever. Is that. One of the main topics you like to to rap about. Love why fashion. why that's is like that? A, that's like the other side of me. Like mm-hmm. that was one of the main reasons. Like I knew I was gonna entertain because even like young, my mm-hmm. mom was 
very much in the fashion, still is. My mm-hmm. father's in the fashion, still is. Yeah. So, like, some of my brothers were like, they would be fly early on. Like, now they don't give a fuck. Yeah. But they would be fly as shit, and I, I took on to that. And I was always, like, short. Mm-hmm. I was always short, like, shorter than the girls, even growing up, like, young. Yeah. I, I had a little girl's where I'm not too bad now, 5'8". But really? growing you up. Really? You look taller than that. Yeah. You look taller than that. Got my back, you know what I'm saying? Got to tuck my chin up. Yeah, you look a little bit taller than that when I saw you. I was like, some people, I I don't mean in person, and then I can see them, I'm like, okay, this guy's, usually it's people that are way taller than I thought. Yeah. There was this one guy who I thought, shout out to St. John, it was like five foot, I thought he was like five eight. The motherfucker was six foot three. Yeah. He was towering over me. You can't tell through the Instagram. No, he can't. But, um... What was I talking about? You were talking about fashion and like how... Okay, yeah, bro. So I was very short, bro. Mm-hmm. So like I always had a way to make myself stand out. Mm-hmm. You know, got to show you got to be peeping me too. So I was like, yeah. fuck it, I'm going to be fly. Okay. I'm going to be fly. Mm-hmm. You know? And I just always <laughs> just liked fashion. But first it was just regular shit. It was just Jordans. Mm-hmm. And, you know, then I started watching like ASAP Rocky and like certain fashion niggas. And then I just... Man. Started watching what my mother was really doing. Like, I stopped watching everybody else. Like, I was mm-hmm. like, fuck, let me put out the polo. Start wearing all the J's that come out. Like, I started just watching everything around me. And just, like, getting my style from the streets. Like, just, mm-hmm. yo, the random person that you see on the street just yeah. rocking anything. Mm-hmm. That's where babushka and shit come from. Like, just right. people relaxing mm-hmm. and doing what they feel like doing. Mm-hmm. And then I just became fly. I was like, fuck it. Yeah. So what... Always love that shit. Yeah, what, what, what brands are you fucking with right now, like, lately? Man... Everybody you got fucking. Alex, you got that song there. Yeah, that's Elite's. Fi- Elite's, that's Elite, one of yeah. fire brands, dude. Yeah, bro. Um, You know, I fuck with all brands, bro. I just, I like, I fuck with, like, the way the style is. I gotta mm-hmm. go off the way the style is. But, like, mm-hmm. Rick Owens, my favorite, bro. Mm-hmm. Rick, Rick Owens. Uh, Hermes is fire, bro. Like, you know, mm-hmm. of course, the big brands are, are tough. Depends mm-hmm. on what you get from there. Some niggas are rock a whole designer fit. That's why I don't really like to talk too much about brands. Because yeah. some, some niggas are rock a whole designer fit, but they ain't coming like me. I don't got to wear no designer and no. I still body that fit. Right, exactly. You know? It's, it's but, more than just that. You can't just put, you have like a whole thing. You got the hair, you got the, yeah, yeah. you know, it's it's, presentation. it's in you, not on you. So yeah, like, yeah, I go yeah. fuck with the brands, but like not everything. Like I really, yeah. I like Rick Owens though, because it's, it's, a, it's a subtle brand. Yeah. Usually stuff is like, you wouldn't even know it's Rick Owens. Like right mm-hmm. now, my pants are like, John Paul Gaultier, but they're all mm-hmm. black and shit. Yeah. You got some laces on the bottom of the pants, but like calm shit. Calm, yeah. Calm shit. Like they you gotta, if you know, you know shit. Like mm-hmm. let these niggas copy the swag, man, because yeah. I've been doing it. Uh huh. And you like going to Soho? I'm guessing, like yeah, early on. Uh huh. Early on, I felt like I, I, like I found. That's what I was saying. Like growing up in Baldwin, like now, if you look, everybody in from Baldwin mm-hmm. taking the train, going to Soho and shit. But like I was doing that shit like. A, mad young in high school like mm-hmm. no but everybody was scared to go to the city and shit like that niggas wasn't mm-hmm. going from, to the city going to brooklyn like i was like nah this is new york i gotta get out. like as long as i'm in bowling yeah i still gotta be outside right so that's when i was mm-hmm. gravitating to different people out in queens out in brooklyn like yeah. getting different types of friends and mm-hmm. just starting to move around different and that's when like the people from my town started like right hey you know what i'm saying like okay. it was then when i started branching out uh-huh. that's all it was it was a certain time in life i felt like i got more love from other s- surrounding towns than in my own, you feel mm. me? I but. feel that. No, no, literally, that's me because I'm the town I'm from is four hours away. Mm-hmm. So, like, I don't, I don't literally yeah, find nobody there. Exactly, nobody. You know, I feel. And like that's just how it goes. You know how it goes, bro. You, you like. You see what happens nowadays. Like, right. it's sad, but mm-hmm. rappers get killed in their own hood. Like, it don't even be, you know what I'm saying? They don't get usually yep. killed on tour. It'd it be, no. you know what I'm saying? Home. Yeah. Just how this shit go. People don't want to see you make it out, but. No. Jealous. That ain't no reason to yeah. stop. Mm-hmm. So, you have, you, just the first, I don't know, I've known you now for what, 30 minutes now? 30 minutes. 30 minutes. 30 minutes. The first thing is you're very outgoing. Have you. Are you? Is it always been easy for you to con- make friends and connections and whatever? Because yeah. that's a very big skill. If you were like super quiet, it'd be tough to make those connections yeah. you're talking about in those all those I was cities. Always, well, I got older brothers and older sisters. Two older sisters, two older brothers. Are oh, you youngest or are I'm you? the youngest in my family? Oh, okay. So I grew up like everybody talking, everybody uh-huh. talking to me, always around family. And then like when I got to like school and started being social, it was pretty easy for me. Like you know, I just grew up like kind of confident so like mm-hmm. i ain't want to never be this is hard he's showing me some rick owens right now he's funny mm-hmm. as hell yeah <laughs> um bro it's always like you know i mean you always got your times where you get anti-social like mm-hmm. certain people that i'm very close to right now will tell you oh lee's quiet really? lee don't really talk lee don't communicate 
like you know the the, the people closest to me will tell you like like I'm quiet. I don't be talking to nobody. But like really, you know. But that's just at times. Yeah. Like, but right. yeah, for the most part, bro, you gotta be outgoing. I always wanted to be a people's person. I always like making other people feel good. Mm. Always like making other people have a good vibe. Like if you see me at a party, I'm yeah. I'm in the middle. You in the middle? You I'm either you, hyping niggas you up. You in the mosh or, pit too? You or you? Nah, I ain't fucking with the mosh pit. No, no, no. I ain't fucking with the mosh pit. You're not in the mosh pit. Nah, I start the mosh pit. You start the mosh pit. I start the mosh pit. You start it, but then you hop out, or you? Yeah, I'm not mm-hmm. hop in it. You okay? On top, I'll jump in the crowd, maybe. Oh, okay. You know, I ain't gonna hop yeah. in the mosh pit. Right, right. Fuck it though, why not? Yeah. No, I. So I, I, one of your shows, it's you've had mosh pits at your shows and shit. I never had a mosh pit at my show yet. Never. Okay. It's gonna, bro. It's, it's gonna, gonna happen. It's though. gonna happen. Them niggas gonna mosh, dude. It's gonna be fun. You guys gotta get a bunch of crazy, crazy boys off of. Uh, were you at Rolling Loud? Or you, I, I went. You went? Okay, yeah. Cause there were some crazy pits in there, man. Yeah. My God. Some of the some of them people I gotta say Travis uncivil, uncivil, Tra- like, I was in a crowd uh, uh, when Travis went on he was the last one I came out to the me. crowd and like mm-hmm. I saw some mosh pits my nigga I had on all yeah. whites first day wearing some forces so I was like I ain't gonna go in the mosh pit today yeah. but all my mm-hmm. homies went in. <laughs> and then you wait, you went into it nah I ain't going in. I was like I ain't get my sneakers dirty fuck them no oh, man. no the, the but I watched from the side it was fire okay. okay I like seeing that shit last night I was at Cody Shane show. Okay, in here or in Atlanta? In, out here. Out here, okay. And I threw some, you know, water on the motherfuckers when they was moshing mm-hmm. from the top. You know? Yeah. Moshing is, is amazing. I it love is. seeing crowd reaction, period. Mm-hmm. Like, if you see me perform and yeah. I got a big enough crowd, I'm mm-hmm. going to get them niggas to move. Right, right. I'm going to get them to move. We're going to have to, if I got to go to them, mm-hmm. you get whatever. The crowd too? Whatever, bro. Whatever, if I, whatever, whatever, however it go, bro. If yeah. I, however the vibe is, I'm mm-hmm. going off that. If I got a motherfucking walk through the crowd yeah. and y'all niggas is lame as hell and I'm walking mm-hmm. to and talking to everybody while I'm rapping, I'm mm-hmm. going to do that way. You're going to do it? I'm going to okay. do that way. But mm-hmm. if it's a lit enough crowd, fuck it. I'm going to get that turn. I'm going to jump in. Like, mm-hmm. it's whatever. Hey, what's the song that you usually, you'll put on and be like, okay, now the shit will, the shit Come on, down. get a check. Okay, that's Get a check. One. Even for the neutrals, like, those those guys will go, that's when I'll get them crazy. Get them crazy. Yeah. Get a check. Get them motherfuckers lit. Mm-hmm. Yeah. How do you plan out, a, a, like, the order of performing? Um, those are off the vibe. If it's slower... Mm-hmm. And it's hard. You still want to do it. If it's a slower song, you still want to perform it. Put it early. Okay. And I learned a lot of that shit from my DJ. Shout out DJ Godspeed. Mm-hmm. I just learned a lot of shit because there'll be times where I tell them, like, yo, freestyle. Mm-hmm. Like, in a sense where, like, it's time for us to go on stage and do our thing. Yeah. And he's DJing for me. And I don't want to know the songs he's going to play. Oh, so he's just going to surprise you. Let him go crazy. Like, mm-hmm. he go off the vibe of the crowd. Okay. And I just listen. And when he play a different song, I'm like, what we doing next? He's mm-hmm. like, oh, psh, this. Oh, okay. Uh, okay. And I go off that vibe, and I uh-huh. and I make it fun. But uh, otherwise than that, like, I start with the slower songs first, and then, like, these songs you know going to get the motherfuckers lit, mm-hmm. put it toward the end. Okay. Whatever. Do you need to break, when you when you first get on stage, do you need to, like, break out and uh, do something that's crazy lit at first, and then slow it down, and then pick it back up? Is- nah, sometimes I go out there, and I be, like, having a mic stand. I'll mm. fucking sing, like really okay. sing to y'all, yeah. and then I'll fucking take the mic off, start jumping up and down, then start going crazy. Oh, okay. like I'll I'll lead it up to that, and then at the last last fucking mm-hmm. song, I'm almost in the crowd. So like the moments matter. Like when you when you take yeah, the I mic start off, off I get start get them get them engaged with me because I'm yeah. still a growing artist. I'm up and coming artist. So uh-huh. it's like some most of the crowds I go and I'm still introducing myself. Right, right. I'm still meeting these people for the first time. Right. So it's like. Let them get to know me. I sing mm-hmm. something to them. That I'm like, wait, y'all like that? But I got this vibe. Uh huh. Like throwing something hard. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Throwing something hard. Uh-huh. Then go into the fire shit, whatever. And get them to know me. Get them like me. By the end of the song, they're like, hey, hey. Yeah. I got songs where they'll start fucking singing along and don't even know me yet. Damn. You know? Okay. Because they're catchy. Yeah, they're yeah, catchy. Oh, so you get, that, you get that first chorus out and then they'll. they'll sometimes you get the, the chorus second. out yeah. and the motherfuckers sing along with you. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's all about how you control the crowd. Okay. But crowd control has always been. Plus for me, I could do that shit like because you were doing the early performing, so you never get on stage and you never you ever get butterflies. At bro, all? I get butterflies like shit, bro. But yeah. I just because I just because I'm a critic of my own self. Like mm. I want to do my best every time. Mm. I want to get them motherfuckers a show. I want them to go home, remember that shit, mm. tell their friends about it, tell yeah. their family. Like mm-hmm. I want to be that. So like I go out there every time, and put a hundred in. I don't give a fuck if it's five people mm-hmm. or five that fifty five hundred people. Yeah. I'm going in, you know. I'm, I'm gonna make you enjoy right. it, whether you know we gotta just relax because mm-hmm. it's less, whatever it is. But I give out some shirts or whatever, bro. Okay. Come to the Lee Parish show, bro. I'm, I'm that nigga sometimes. Bro. Yeah. So what was like <laughs> some memorable performances for you? 
Bro, my favorite was performing in LA earlier this year, maybe okay. about February, with Gunnar Stahl. Gunnar Stahl's a photographer. Okay. But we did a shoot and we got we got like cool. And he did a show, he was just like Gunnar Stahl and friends. So I didn't know who the fuck was performing, but yeah. I hit him up. I was like, Bro, bring me out. He was like, Come on. I was like, I'm serious. Yeah, he was like, I'm mm-hmm. serious, sir. Like, yeah. I'm serious too. So we f- we figured it out and I flew out to LA. I brought my cameraman, the DJ, mm-hmm. brought Mom Dukes, and I went st- Stupid, bro. The, the crowd fucking loved me. I was the only opener. After me, it was like Chief Keith, Ray Schrammer. Yeah, yeah, like oh, Ray Schrammer. Like it was a real show. Oh, the motherfuckers fuck. was outside. Yeah, Gunnar Stahl, he's, he's fire. He's a photographer. And these are his friends that, you know, came out to, to perform for his, uh, to, to celebrate him. So it was like, yeah. I was one of those people he picked to come celebrate him. That shit was like, Shit made mm-hmm. me feel great, bro. I turned that shit up. Everybody yeah. was hitting them up, hitting me up. Who, who was that? Who was that first nigga? Who was that first kid? Like, I left my mark on them yeah, as if no. I was one of them uh-huh. who was coming, like, like, like Chief Keith and right. You know, no, that's a big spot that you have. That's yeah, a bro. big spot because if you gotta make the people remember you, exactly. they they remember me. Anybody mm-hmm. from that show was like, I know who that is from now on. Like, yeah, exactly. I make them remember me. Mm-hmm. No, because. That's what makes great shows. Some is like right. some of them are great performances, but what makes a great show is it's everybody from top to bottom. From on top the to card. bottom, bro. Yeah. I'm telling you, if they got at me in, on anybody fucking tour right now, I'm yeah. snapping. Right. I'm making them people remember me. Some people just perform like for themselves. Like I'm performing for y'all. Mm-hmm. Watch what I do. Right, you're the you're the playmaker. The playmaker. You're the playmaker. All right, so going on some other shit here. Tell me about so. When you leave Long Island, do you do you miss it? Because you're traveling a lot. I always miss my grandma. Okay. R.I.P. my grandpa. Uh-huh. He just passed away in uh, July. But uh, mm-hmm. I always miss my family back at home. You know, my dad don't never really leave. My dad work hard as mm-hmm. fuck. So, you know what I'm saying? They, everybody, all my family's home. So, yeah, when I leave without them, I miss the family. Mm-hmm. Uh, necessarily Long Island itself. Like, mm-hmm. nothing, nothing too crazy about Long Island I miss when mm-hmm. I'm away. Besides my family. Okay, gotcha. And um, what... what? Maybe a bacon, egg, and cheese when I'm away from New York. <laughs> when I'm away from New York and, 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 and all, I need a bacon, egg, and cheese when I get back. I still haven't had one. You ain't had a bacon, egg, and cheese yet? I've been living here since 2016. Well, if you don't take your ass to Farring's in the morning. So that's, that's the one. Farring's Deli in the morning, bro. Farring's Deli. Do they know Treat you? Treat yourself. They know, you by, know you by name and everything? They know my body there. They know my body in most delis in New York because I need a bacon, egg, and cheese. Okay, okay. What's extra the, bacon, you, extra, you put, extra, you, extra cheese. You put, oh, okay, no no, uh, no ketchup on there? Salt, pepper, ketchup. You do salt, pepper, salt, ketchup? Salt, pepper, ketchup. Yes. Come on, bro. <laughs> Wait, so you, what about, you, do you, did you get, you fuck with the bacon, egg, and cheese? I put him on, you bro. Him on? Yeah, He's yeah, from you know, Atlanta. Too, so, so okay. Bro, we had to get it going. I told him, yo, try chopped cheese. Chopped cheese. Chop he cheese. put me on all that shit, bro. Chopped cheese, so. bacon, egg, and cheese. You gotta fuck bacon, we gotta get the bacon with the cream cheese and the jelly dough in the morning, too. That'd be busting. Yeah, too. or you can get a bacon, egg, and cheese with je- light jelly on the buns. Mm. Light jelly on the roll. Trust me, it, give, it just gets it just gets that extra. cheese with light jelly on the rolls, bro. Come nah, on. he told me he told me he's uh he's for Christmas. That's my Christmas present. I'm gonna get a bacon egg and cheese for Facts. the first time. I might have to do like a reaction video. <laughs> we, I'll be here, bro. Call me. Yo, we'll do it. We'll do a reaction video here. We'll all sit around and we'll all eat bacon egg and cheese. Fuck it, yeah. we could take this camera to the yeah. fucking deli in the morning. We could do it. We could do it. Up at the table. <laughs> <laughs> Bitch. Clip number two. Just like he said, man. I just need one of those. <laughs> the, the thing is, I need one of those movie things. Oh, yeah. Yeah. We're going to insert one. Ready? Bitch. Clip two. Clip two. So, think about that. Are you a movie guy? Do you like acting? Is that something bro. that you'd be interested in? Because you got, here's the thing. You got the look that you could do it. Bro, I appreciate that, bro. I've mm-hmm. heard that shit my whole life. like, mm-hmm. And I never tried nothing acting related yet. Mm-hmm. Um... I have went to like a fucking agency, like I had a meeting with an agency that somebody had set up and like mm-hmm. if I would have rocked with them, I could have like, you know, get into movies and different things like that. But I, I didn't go through with it. But mm-hmm. eventually after I built my name off of music, which is my first passion, I would mm-hmm. always do some acting shit. Mm-hmm. I never done it. I know I can. You know you could, yeah, you but it, it. it's still a hard job, bro. It's still yeah. a task. Like I know how that shit goes. Acting not easy. Yeah. So, but I'm I'm with any challenge, bro. If they got a if they got a character y'all need me to play, yeah, call me, bro. Right. right. No, you be you be. <laughs> I'll be. I would love to do something, bro. I would love to do it. This shit is mm-hmm. all on my list. Like all on my list, bro. Mm-hmm. Gotcha. 
And then, so you do a lot of your music videos with Dead Station. Fuck Shout out my guy. Um, anyways, so how is, do you... I'm particular. You're particular, okay. I'll be on Dead Station ass. Okay, really? Yeah, because you got to be, mm-hmm. you got to care about what you're putting out, the content mm-hmm. you're putting out. So whether I'm getting five views, I'm the same me regardless. So whether, like I said, like if you get five views or 500K views, right. I'm going to want the videos to be explaining the song how I pictured it. Mm-hmm. Or if it can't, if I can't, you know, grasp the budget, because my mind is so crazy, imagine, imagination-wise, mm-hmm. like, idea wise my mind is so crazy though sometimes i don't have the fucking budget to, dude, to go and make the it. video dude. how i envisioned dude. it going with the song but yeah. i at least try to put my all right now yeah into the videos and like oh. give them what i was thinking mm-hmm. or like if not we're gonna have to make that shit in edits no. if i can't go to the actual place and act it out we're gonna mm-hmm. we're gonna put effects on it right Oh, Animated. Fuck it. I gotta shoot in front of green screen because I can't get there. Because you can't get there. If I gotta be in fucking bore bore, I need a fucking green screen and bore <laughs> bore to fucking execute. You guys, you know that that's literally that's me. That's literally me right there. Yeah, I got. Like, like, that's like, like got my got main thing right now. Like that's like my main thing right now. I gotta figure out how to get real live mm-hmm. um, setups for videos. Like mm-hmm. you know, like I want a movie fucking set. A movie set. Movie set. In big a video, cam- like, you know? Big cameras, big light. It don't even got to be big cameras. I'm talking about it got to be, like, set up. Like, you know when you go to a play, you got the chair, you got the kitchen, you got the actors. Like, you know, you oh. you know, like a real set up. Like a live studio. A live, something going on, whether I'm, whatever, bro. Whatever I'm doing, I want, like, fucking... Bro, there's so much videos that go out nowadays. You see niggas breaking out of jail. There's a yeah. whole shit that you can reenact once uh-huh. you... If you got that paper... Right, exactly. But you can do whatever the fuck you want. Right. Mm-hmm. Just, just know my video is going to get better as I keep and, and going up, going you know, uh-huh. and going and going. So soon we're going to have this fire shit, bro. There's so much shit that you could do in now music videos. Mm-hmm. I want to make some music videos like baby movies. Oh, you know, okay. yes, yes, like yes. yeah, I and want. Put them. Like, I'm telling a story. I will break it up and put okay. like some acting in the middle. Or just uh-huh. right now, just trying to get all that shit executed. But like. Right. Bro, you, you see get, artists get better and better and bigger mm-hmm. and bigger, and you see their videos start. They go crazy. You see their yeah. videos start evolving. Uh-huh. And them motherfuckers in real courthouses and a nigga. Yeah. You know, like real like shit going on in the videos. Like that shit yeah. is amazing, bro. That shit makes you like this attract to the song itself. For sure, for sure. Like certain videos is the reason why I like certain songs. That's true. No, you know? and because and then the evolution's crazy because like Uzi's video. Have you ever seen Uzi's first video? Yeah, yeah, exactly. You watch what the you, evolution, like yeah. you see them first and just like in front of a car, yeah. or like with a with a friend, just one mm-hmm. of their friends relaxing mm-hmm. and like you know shooting a video there. And that's how like some of my shit even looks. And then like you see them get bigger and bigger, like doing green screen shit. And then you see them like mm-hmm. just upgrading their whole life and their whole aspect on the video. Just in, yeah. just in the sense where who, like when the edits is hard, and yeah, then, you know you mm-hmm. can just tell like it gets mm-hmm. better and better. They start yeah. putting they. They can they can execute how they want to. Yeah, even the videographers like seeing like like Cole Bennett's progression, like even Death Station's progression. Death crazy. Station is 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 it's, Long Island Cole Bennett. It is no, he literally is. I mean, the interviews he does are fucking crazy. Come on, those are those effects are. Fucking I didn't even do crazy. my interview yet. Are you gonna do one though? Of course. You gotta, yeah, you gonna. He do, ain't do his interview yet. I ain't do my video yet. Yeah, he's gonna okay, do a video. So yet. A, he gonna do a video of Death Station this week coming up. Yeah. I I seen the clip uh, with Chow where they went to NCC. Mm-hmm. That shit looks so lit, and it bro. looks it's so funny that they too went talented to ass awesome. people, bro. Rude. That would be you guys. You guys know each other, right? Yeah. Short. Yeah. yeah. That how crazy of a song would that shit be, bro? We have one out. Yes, but it's old. It's old. Okay. I'm I did that shit when I was probably like 16, 2016, mm-hmm. We dropped that shit. Okay. But yeah, we we said we got to do a part two. It's a song called Activated. Activated. Activated, and we're gonna do an activated part two. It's gonna mm-hmm. be soon. Me and Chow. Yeah. It's just been a minute. You know, those motherfuckers just be working so hard. He be yeah. working on his shit. I be working on my shit. Forget yeah. to come back and connect. Right. For sure. We are gonna get back in the studio. We mm-hmm. gonna have both you do it. Yeah. Oh, perfect. That's the three you gotta have together. You know, right there. Three-headed snake. Yes, for sure. Yeah. So um, what was I gonna go with this one? Okay. Um. Fuck it. Let's talk about you. Like, what other hobbies you got other than fashion? And um, you got any? Um, to play video games. You like to go uh, and run. Do you like to? I'll be honest with you, bro. Growing run? up, I never was too much into video games. Certain mm-hmm. certain part of my life, I'll play a couple of shit things, but like, mm-hmm. no, no, never too much in video games. Young, young, never no toys. Mm-hmm. Never much other shit besides like, you know, 
clothes and like entertainment and just like I kind of knew who I was very young. But like other hobbies, I'm trying to think like shit, shit that I like a little bit, bro. Nothing I really love. Like you know, mm-hmm. I like basketball, I like all that shit. But like mm-hmm. a little bit, I'm not doing that shit every day. Yeah, there's not much I'm really gonna do every day besides, you know, mm-hmm. music. That's really the only thing I would do every day. No, no, no amazing passions yet. But I like mm-hmm. to do a lot of shit. I guess you could say I got hobbies. Just whatever. Mm-hmm. Whatever the fuck we doing. Like, what we do. Like, what would be fun. I mean, I don't want to say shopping. We, that shit is lame. We do a lot of shit, bro. We'll do it. That's what I'm saying. But it, like everything in moderation. Like mm-hmm. fucking go laser tagging. Go go-karting. But I ain't okay. doing that shit. Re- like nothing super I would consider a hobby besides music. music. Gotcha. Facts. Right. Man, and getting dressing up right and getting lit like so are you guys how long do you take to get ready how long do you take nah, to get quick, ready bro it's quick that's the difference <laughs> really interesting that's that's the difference bro it's not it doesn't take too energy. much it don't take too much like okay. it's like if you wear like i'm simple bro if i'm wearing black i'm wearing black mm-hmm. uh, if i'm wearing black and white i'm wearing black and white i'm chilling i just go off if i got something new i might go off that like if it's a shirt that yeah. i want to wear then i'm gonna go off that if it's the sne- new sneakers i got i'll just go off this what i will wear with the sneakers but like Really, I do that shit in my head. Like, I kind of know the shit I got. Gotcha. And so, I just do it in my head. I'm going to put on that, that, with that. Mm-hmm. All right, boom, we out. And I just put that shit on. So, you in and out. You quit. Yeah, but I don't take too you long. Quit. I mean, at certain times, you always go through that shit where certain mm-hmm. shit ain't wash. Or, yeah. <laughs> you know, you go through something where you're like, fuck, where is this? Like, yeah. So, I don't, sometimes you take a little minute, a little extra minute. Your room mm-hmm. might be messy as fuck. But not, not, not you, you're always taking, you're always quicker than your woman. Always quicker than her. Yeah, 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 I'll be yeah. dressed. Yeah, right. What about you? You take a long ass time? It depends. It be 50 50 with me. Sometimes it's just like boom. Sometimes mm-hmm. I have an outfit on and then I'll put like four more outfits on and then I'll <laughs> go back to the like first one. Wait, <laughs> where is it? You just, oh, nah, yeah, you just, just keep changing. Change, bro. Change, I'll be change, like, change, fuck. Change. Then I'll walk into the room to this nigga. Be go like, back? Bro, mm-hmm. be like, bro, I don't know what to wear, bro. Like, <laughs> so it all depends. And then sometimes I'll be like, all right, bet, I'm ready. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's crazy. Yeah, be one, two, three. So, how long did prom take you to get ready? You went to your prom? Yeah, bro. Yeah, bro. I'd snap. Um, prom, t- I got ready during the day of prom very fast because it was already premeditated. Really? But um, my mom made my jacket, bro. My mom made my jacket from oh. hand. We went to Gap, and she actually got a jean jacket, uh-huh. and she got two jean jackets. She cut the bottom of a jean jacket into like this shape to make it long at the back, and she attached oh. it. And she literally hand bedazzled the whole entire jacket. When I tell you my family is sick with what we the certain shit that we get into, uh-huh. sick, bro. She had like butterfly pearls on there and like lightning bolts and like you know just fire shit and oh, it has a shit. big ass Eiffel Tower on the back and you can for see Lee Paris. Yeah, 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 yeah for yeah. Paris and I had like an LP I believe like she mm-hmm. she went stupid nuts I just like yeah. it's in my closet right now that's like one of like the most amazing things she ever made but that yeah. was for my prom mm-hmm. and she made the uh, girl I went with like a matching like bedazzled dress and shit wow. we kind of like redid the Met Gala with Kanye and Kim when they went and he did like okay. a jean jacket bedazzled mm-hmm. made by Balenciaga yeah. we just made my own shit like that and just added to it to it. Cool, okay. That's just how I saw my prom. Ever since I saw that Matt Gala when they went mm-hmm. and did that, that's mm-hmm. how I saw my prom. Okay, bad. And then did you do a bow tie or did you do a tire with it? Um, no, nah, I just had an open, I did no collar button up and okay. I opened it and I had on my chains. Nice, sick, okay. Yeah. That's dope. That must have been. If we make a Lee Paris museum, we just make a Long Island rap museum or something. Bro, should we put that shit put in the there? jacket in that. Put bitch. that jacket that's in, the, in the glass jacket. case, man. Handmade, bro. That mm-hmm. shit will. Eventually be worth a lot of bread. My mom is talented with this shit. Mm-hmm. Interesting. So you got art. I have a art mother too, but she was like more into clay jewelry and shit. Okay, yeah. Like My mom's that. into clothes like clothes. nobody you ever met. Mm-hmm. Ridiculous. Shit. So wait, how? All right, no cap. How how long uh, did she dress you for? Hmm. She never really dressed me. She taught us how to dress. If you okay. wanted to do what you wanted to do, you wanted to do what you wanted to do. Mm-hmm. Um, I used to always just be like. I like this, so I like that. I need. I, oh, I just had little phases, bro. Just mm-hmm. my whole life having little phases. Like I want to wear these certain scarves all the time. So like two dollars, but like, really? like yeah, like do you know the shits that like they're like a square and they look like oh, pink. like it'll be like two okay. colors, pink and black, blue and black. And you tie them, tie them around yeah, like my around. like okay. my neck or whatever. I just bought mm-hmm. mad of those, bought every color, and used to like mm-hmm. change them whenever color scarf I was wearing. I changed my shoelaces to that. Oh. You know, or whatever. I had like a blue G Shock, mad fucking young. <laughs> you know, and I used to like wear the blue laces and my blazers with the blue G Shock. Like I just uh-huh. always liked doing shit, but I learned it, inherited it from my parents. Facts. Oh man, I just just try shit and just always been. And then it just got to a point where like I just got nice with the, what I was doing because I was watching the right people. 
Mm-hmm. Dress like that's for sure. No, you know, no, my my parents, no, they're not really fat. Are your parents fashionable like that? No, not no. Really, no. So, dude, we had a we had a we had I a got lucky, curve, bro. bro. I got lucky with who my parents yeah. are in general. They they made me, yeah, the they made me. My you are, <laughs> dude, that ass. No, on uh, Christmas, who's so are you coming down? Are you the flyest one or or nah? My mom's the flyest, mom's but mom. I, okay. bro, I'll be chilling around my family. I don't give a fuck, but yeah. nah, yeah, <laughs> I don't care. Yeah, I'll be, cool. bro, Christmas, bro, I'm yeah. rocking like. Some funny Christmas shit. Some polo pajamas or some fire pajamas, you know, with like keeping it lazy. slippers and yeah, I'm keeping it lit. Okay. Slippers, maybe a Christmas sweater if, if somebody get me one or yeah. something. <laughs> with a chain suit? No. Not inside. Not with the fam. I don't give a fuck. Okay. That should be heavy, bro. So you're chilling. What about you? What are you wearing for Christmas Day? Same shit. Same shit, right? Same shit. Really cozy, bro. Yeah, really? bro. We give it. I'm trying to give away for Christmas and shit. I wish I can go outside and give away, but I, I'm, mm-hmm. I'm gonna be honest with you. It's cold as fuck, bro. I'm nah. be inside, just giving my family away or anything. I can get them. No, yeah. that's what I do. I, Eating. Yeah. I got a bunch. This of year we're doing like man. seafood, seafood for Se- my Christmas. You yeah, my seafood? family. I love seafood. That's my favorite food. But my family just act on Thanksgiving just decided like, yo, we're gonna do seafood uh, f- for this Christmas. So like, fuck it, we're gonna get like crab legs and salmon and shrimp. Yeah, good shit, bro. I'm hype. My my aunt is like nice. Like my dad was a chef. He worked mm-hmm. at he's like the man at Cheesecake Factory and shit early on. Okay. He's a chef. Uh-huh. I love food. That that could have been the hobby. I said, bro, I honestly could cook. I mean, you could. You people cook. really don't know. Yeah, bro. What people do you always. Like to cook? Bro, I'm nice, bro. Anything like like I said, like shrimp, salmon. Mm-hmm. I get all my deli shit and be just deep frying shit, deep frying really? French fries. So you guys would be chilling and this guy would just go into the kitchen. Bro, yeah, bro, I made curry, like yeah. turkey better, turkey sliders on um on red lobster biscuits. Uh, really? Little little sliders, turkey sliders with onion and pepper in in the in the in the, in the burger and like oh. some lettuce, tomato, fuck it. On a red, red red lobster biscuit with the butter on top. Like I can make shit. The, anything the I put my biscuit, mind to, right? yeah. yeah okay. Anything Ooh, I put my mind to, okay. anything I like. And mm-hmm. I don't want to go outside and necessarily buy that shit. I can make it. Yeah, mm-hmm. I make like shrimp tacos before. We don't make. We don't make anything. Yeah, I don't fuck with brownies at all. No. But he made. I made some. Make I brownies, make. I thing is, I don't even be liking to make brownies. My my mom and my sister really love the chocolate chip brownies and shit. So oh, I be making shit. that. They make me make that shit. I don't know, but I'm just reading a fucking recipe. But everybody, I gotta cook like shit. <laughs> <laughs> you grill too? You like to grill? I ain't never grill no shit. I don't, no. Nah, but okay. it's like the same thing as using a stove. Okay. If I I can, but Yo, when I go three pairs barbecue, that's what we're gonna do <laughs> in we're Harlem. Barbecue in Harlem. Yeah, cause I had some sandwich the other day in Atlanta, bro, and it was a barbecue chicken roll, bro, mm-hmm. for five dollars, bro, and I felt like when I bit into it, I felt like I was in Harlem, bro. I felt like I was on a black party. Mm-hmm. Like they grilled it right. They, that shit tastes like the best grilled mm-hmm. chicken sandwich I ever had. So I feel like if I did like a park theme, bro, mm-hmm. I'd haul the food come out really fucking good on a grill. You got to be outside. Outside of Grilling the shit. And all the, yeah. all the homies would pull up. Right. Got barbecue right. chicken and shit up, uptown. Yo, and we'll vlog that shit, bro. That would be fun, man. Nah, yeah. Wait, what is what do you like to eat? What's your favorite? So seafood's your favorite. What's your favorite? I like a lot of shit for real, bro. I love potatoes. Potatoes? Yeah, potatoes is favorite food. Like <laughs> potatoes? Every, every form, bro. Wait, man. you see this guy eating potatoes? Bro. Potatoes, french fries. I eat french fries like five times. <laughs> 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 like Who's got like, the best fries? If you got to pick them up. The best fries? Ooh, I don't know. I ain't going to lie. Depending on where you at, the deli, the deli fries be busted. Deli, Depending really? Depending where you at. Yeah. You like them wild? Not in checkers? No. Checkers, oh, not it, it, I used pants, to love bro. checkers fries, but nah, <laughs> not really grease no that shit. Like, yeah, it's mad grease and that shit. Yeah, it all depends, bro. Like, I get fries from the Chinese spot, put duck sauce on them. That should be busting. Oh, you gotta try that, bro. Yeah, no, I, yeah. I used to work at a Chinese restaurant for a bit. I used to do that. Crab Rangoon, I be eating that shit. Okay, so you he went pescatarian for a little minute. I oh, I saw it. that in your interview, yeah, bro. Do you ever do that? Nah, I like everything. Let it go. Yeah, I just don't like too much pork, but like. I eat bacon, egg, and cheese like a motherfucker. Right, right, right. The real one. Steaks? Not no turkey bacon. No. So I got to go. Yeah, sometimes I eat pork, but nothing too crazy. Mm-hmm. Steak, you know what I'm saying, bro? Come on. I can't do nothing. I can't stop nothing, but mm-hmm. I like everything for the most part, except for like mushrooms. You don't like mushrooms? I don't like mushrooms. Mm-hmm. I don't like mushrooms. I like a little mushrooms. I like them too, is, man. The Asian food. Yeah. Asian food. Yeah, I don't like mushrooms. I don't like marshmallows. I don't like Me candy. Either. Not no types of candy. I don't even eat like a few, but I'm not gonna be snacking on that shit, especially not mm-hmm. 
at nighttime and shit. I feel like that should be eating away at my teeth or some shit. That should feel weird. Mm, I agree. I'm with just, that. I'm just weird. I got like a salt taste. In. I like salt, salty things. Mm -hmm. Salty like, things. Yeah, like okay. salty things. That's why I like seafood a lot mm -hmm. and shit like that. Okay. Yeah. Cause, wait. So on Halloween, what were you? Well, mom, you were outside you're, you're, getting candy. You were, you're but I want to have a big bag of that shit after, like, after the next day after Halloween. I have a big bag of that shit. Yeah. I used to take it to school. I sell a couple, but you getting chow fast shit at school. They be mad as fuck. <laughs> yeah, I know. Did you see? Yo, I, I don't know if you guys ever saw this. There was this guy. He was on, I think, Steve Harvey or something. He was in high school. Mm -hmm. And he set up a whole business, a network. Of candy selling out of the bathroom. So yeah, pretty much when yeah, you yeah. see that shit. Nah, I ain't never no, seen no shit. But like, yeah, too. niggas used to do that but shit in like my school. We sold, they sold hookah pens money. and all that dumb shit. Anything in school, you could sell in school that niggas wanted. But yeah. candy, some niggas did that shit all year. After after Halloween, I had mad fun candy. I was not eating. I was selling mm -hmm. that shit. Yeah. But I just have to be having it, bro. Just keep it next time. You know, you all, I did and get one. Yeah. Once a day or like two a day, I'll just uh -huh. grab something I like. Uh -huh. Like, I don't give a fuck about no candy like that. No. Bro. I'm going to be eating that shit like out the bag. No. Not me. Not even no. as a kid. Yeah. I mean, the good thing is it doesn't show. I mean, that's the best thing. Mm -hmm. Like, you know, I see... I, like I say, some of the biggest candy eaters I know are the smallest people I've ever seen. Like, super skinny. Some people like, love candy, bro. Just, just, it's, it's no no specific person. Some people just love bro, candy. sugar, man. I cannot fuck with that shit. No, I like sour patch. I like real food favorite. type shit. You can take food me food. to, like, a gas Same. station or a deli. I'm going to try to get chips or something realer than that. Real mm -hmm. foodish, like. Yeah. Mm -hmm. What about you with candy? You like candy? Or you I like candy? candy, bro. What's crazy? I used to love candy when I was little. I don't really fuck with that shit no more, bro. It like, doesn't I age eat well, some, right? Yeah. Nah, yeah. yeah if you liked it very bro, young, like, you still gonna slow down. Like, you yeah, can't be fucking with that shit heavy. No, no, no. Like, Icy's, I, I used really. to like them shits, those things you get at Target or whatever. Or at 7 Eleven. Oh, yeah, yeah, you find yourself yeah, liking yeah. different shit when you get older. Your yeah. taste buds changing. Mature. Shit that I thought I didn't like is all right to me now. You feel me? Mm hmm. Right. Yeah. You just mature. Yeah, no, I used like, to hate tomatoes, but now I fucking yeah, love tomatoes. Fucking yeah, yeah, yeah. Except for, like, big ones. I like the small ones. I didn't think I liked pickles like that much growing up, but, like, mm -hmm. the Popeye sandwich and pickles on that bitch. Bussin', bro. I'll be mad as fuck if they don't got pickles What's in your it. Review? I've never had the Popeye sandwich yet, so. What? Don't talk to me about that shit. Anybody who really know me, no, I get that shit. Like, I stop. I slow down. But I used to get <laughs> that shit twice a day. When that shit came out again... Twice a day, bro. Twice a day? Twice a you day, bro. Popeyes, yeah, you guys bro. are going to get these twice a day. Yes, bro. I get two every time, too. That like, doesn't fuck with your Popeye Popeye sandwich is my shit, bro. Chick-fil-A, get up out of here. That shit is... Yeah. Nothing's no I chicken sandwich I ever had. Crazy, but I fuck with Popeyes. Bro, I went to Fridays today. I got a chicken sandwich. That shit was not Fridays. fucking with Popeyes. Nothing is fucking with Popeyes. No fast food out right now is fucking with Popeyes, bro. No? No. No. That sandwich is amazing, bro. That sandwich... That sandwich gets you right, bro. One... Mm -hmm. One sandwich, all you need. You, my I'll get two, you right. My two are, I think Five Guys is amazing, but it's a little pricey. So I don't. I never fuck with Five Guys. First of all, the fries greasy, is yeah. trash. Really? Their fries no. is ass, but fries I Fries is I trash, and ain't mad. They was always the most <laughs> expensive to me, fast yeah, food wise. expensive, yeah. But Wingstop is the other one I love. Wingstop is my shit, bro. Yo, I just posted a picture on a fucking table at Wingstop. Yo, what really? Because I did a video shoot with Devin, that yeah. station. Oh. And I went, um, we went next door, and it was a Wingstop, so we ate on that bitch. In Freeport? Nah, this was okay. um in Harlem. In Harlem, okay. Now Wingstop is amazing. Right on One Twenty Fifth Street, but um, mm -hmm. I took a fucking picture right on top on sit land, laying mm -hmm. out on the Wingstop table. That you know, that's our with shit. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, that's oh, our shit. Wingstop up, bro. I yeah. gotta have celery with my wings. Though, Celery's bro. I got to, bro. Ranch or blue yeah. cheese? Ranch. Ranch for me. Same, same, same. I'm not a blue cheese motherfucker. That shit don't got no salty. That's what I'm saying. Salty ranch, salty. I fuck with shit like that. I don't know why. Bone in, boneless. Either one, but bone. Either one, but bone in, but bone in, bone in, but sometimes, sometimes boneless, but be slapping, bro. As yeah. long as how it's made good, being able to eat shit with your with your yeah. without Lord, having to do man. too much, right? right? If I want celery, if I got celery, like a lot of celery at the same time, I'm definitely going boneless. Mm -hmm. Like and taking my boneless on my fork, dipping it. Uh, That's yeah, how yeah, you lost all that damn weight you were talking about when you were pescatarian because on that on that interview because. You were eating all that celery. You know, celery is six calories a piece, but it's eleven calories that to, it takes to like digest it. So it's, it's actually negative. It actually, if you're hungry and starving, that's the last thing you want to eat. It'll hydrate you, but it'll make you have less like vitamins in you because it just goes. Uh, out so quick. Yeah, it takes because the intestines it takes eleven calories to digest. Okay. Something okay. Right. Good. Right. 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 Yeah. Where the hell you learn that shit at? I don't know, bro. Knowledge, like, bro. Every that's day you learn something new, bro. Yeah. yeah. This shit is... Just, the world yeah, just right, keeps right, spinning, right. my nigga. It just keeps going and Your going. Your head better going. keep spinning because niggas getting smarter. Yeah. 
fucking on your daughter every no, day. No, that eyes. Every some, day, bro. Some of these people out here, man. Niggas I gotta say, smart. Some niggas getting dumber too. I yeah. ain't gonna lie to you. Mm-hmm. Some that people, gap, some niggas getting dumb. Yeah. They be stupid shit. I hear niggas getting caught go, doing uh, and shit like that. Mm-hmm. Stupid ass shit going on, but. Mm-hmm. Niggas also getting smarter every yeah. day. Or should I say just people getting smarter every wow. day. So mm-hmm. keep your mind running, man. Stay on 10 toes. Mm-hmm. And stay trying to stay on your next move, nigga. Don't stay on your pivot. Don't let nobody get you off your pivot. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. I talk about that shit a lot in my music. A lot of songs I be talking about. Off the stay on my pivot because that's just how I feel. Like, you got to stay 10 toes, bro. Mm-hmm. Keep your foot on. Keep keep balanced because this shit get rocky. Mm-hmm. Yeah, okay. bro. Interesting. No? I see that. No, I feel that. We're gonna have to wrap this shit up here, but I mean that's a, that was a good message. But what what do you guys want to fucking shout out, man? Like, man, shout out fifty five hundred. That's myself. Mm-hmm. Um, that's the people around me that's helping me push me forward, bro. Mm-hmm. Check out the music. The, it's more coming. Lee Paris twenty twenty. I'm gonna take over. I'm gonna do what I gotta do, man. Mm-hmm. I've been doing this shit for a minute. Long Island, I'm in this shit strong. Just stay tuned with me, man. You're gonna see what goes on, bro. We're gonna we're gonna take it to the next level. Thank nah. you for having yeah, me. Yeah, no problem. Of course, man. And what do you you want to say anything? Yeah, right fifty five hundred. Shout out my bro Lee Paris, man. That's Shout out my bro fifty five hundred PK, man. man. Yeah, no, this is uh this is one of the best movements out here. Fifty five hundred, man. Thank I you, bro. Really appreciate you. Stay stay real rock star shit out here, and you thank you guys it? for coming out. Yeah, look at this. Real rock star, bro. In the snow. In the snow. This motherfucker came. This it is cold as shit out there. Rick on. And this motherfucker came in no jacket, no nothing. Rick on. This, this a jacket. Custom drip. Custom, 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 his mom made these for me. Custom oh, you're. Oh, this is a Lee Mom, yeah, get crazy yeah. with the shit, bro. God damn. Man. Already, you know, we cool. Yeah, cool. no, yeah, this bro. is a, on the team I right here. My bro, my brother, like he about to go perform right now, though. Right? Really? <laughs> I wish. I want to go to the studio. Okay, there That's you right, go. I might go go to the studio right now. Yeah. Yeah. What you trying to eat? Wingstop. The fuck it. Wingstop, bro. Wingstop. Wingstop. Go to Freeport. Go to Wingstop. Yeah, Yo. Thank you guys for watching. Thank you guys for listening. Follow me, Man, SKBNITG, Lee Paris. 5500 hey, bitch. Go on. I'm up just a little late. Everything they own, we've been on that. You can go get the same shit that we got, but where's your sauce at? Your diamonds don't drip, drip like us. This is a faucet. Shit it on you niggas hundred thousand times, and I'm not bored yet. Lil' Henny on us right now. Okay, I'ma pour that. My gang get lit as fuck, so they blacking out like Kodak. Got a bad bitch from Texas, like Selena, no Gomez. If these niggas so mad now, watch when I go and get a Rolex. 4G auto spin, 4G auto spin. I'm in that whip, I'm staring. I'm in that Michael Mary, and my sneakers red.